Jane Fonda, 85, made an appearance on Monday at the United Nations Treaty Talks to send an urgent warning that humanity is losing the ocean. As Jane issued the urgent environmental warning in New York, she also stopped in with CNN to reflect on her biggest personal regret, admitting she was not the kind of mother she wanted to be to her children. Jane continued her passion for activism in the U.S. city, as the United Nations began their negotiations on a treaty to protect the high seas. The Hollywood star delivered a petition with more than five. 5 million signatures to Rena Lee, the chair of the High Stakes Talk. Speaking at the press briefing, Jane said, We need a global ocean treaty and we need it now. It is at our own peril to delay any further. I urge you as a mother, a grandmother, and a citizen of this world, let's set aside the politics, the special interests, and the inertia that tends to drag big, bold ideas into the ground, and let's get this done, for every life on Earth. She furthered her point to AFP, the ocean provides us with 50% of our oxygen, and it feeds billions of people, and it's dying. I have children, I have grandchildren and I just want to spend every single moment that I can as long as I'm still alive, to not allow us to destroy the planet. We need a global ocean treaty and we need it now. It is at our own peril that we delay any further. She then described the ills plaguing the ocean, from plastic pollution to overfishing, warming, acidification, and oil spills. Jane also opened up on CNN, as she spoke to Chris Wallace on his show, Who's Talking to Chris Wallace? The 84 Brady actress admitted that the biggest regret in her life is not knowing how to be a better partner. Jane has three children, daughter Vanessa Vadim, 54, with ex-husband Roger Vadim, while her son Troy O'Donovan Garrity, 49, and adopted daughter Mary Lou Anna Williams, 55, are shared with her late ex-husband Tom Hayden. She admitted, I was not the kind of mother that I wished that I had been to my children. Dot I have great, great children, talented, smart, and I just didn't know how to do it. Jane then shared it was her own organization, Georgia Campaign for Adolescent Pregnancy Prevention, that finally showed her what good parenting was. She continued, I know what it's supposed to be now, I didn't know then. So I'm trying to show up now. Elsewhere in the interview, Jane admitted she isn't afraid of death after her cancer diagnosis last September. Jane expressed, what I'm really scared of is getting to the end of life with a lot of regrets when there's no time to do anything about it. And it's one reason that I try, I'm trying to get it all done before I come to the end. Jane was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and has been undergoing chemo treatment since. The Grace and Frankie star was overwhelmed with the positive responses after announcing in December that her cancer was in remission, 